Uh-oh. <laughs> Lawyer Matthew. Holiday treat email from Indie Mike. Oh, and not my fault, Lawyer Matthew says. Now, I don't know how. Wait a second. Let me check my emails. It's been a while, so you might have to update. I'm on that list. I got it. I got it. And it was because of the Trump email we sent out this morning. Which is a good sign, Michael. So good job for you. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, yeah. We I've sent out an email saying, indie Mike. saying the question, is Donald Trump good for America? Now, there are, I have, I get stuck on these, these email chains with Indy Mike because there's a couple of people who are liberals and who get our email blasts. And so I got a response to the email blast from... Lawyer Matthews, I think, actually, well, I think I could say mother-in-law. Doesn't matter. She emailed saying, yes. The answer is yes. He is good for America. Because uh, late-night comedians are short of material. It'd be fascinating to have a president who needs to improve uh, employment, having a history of firing people. Public. It was She's writing a joke email. But Indy Mike got put on that list, and he's responded. You make fun of Trump in regards to employment. Are you kidding me? In this one area, I would make him a czar of employment if I could. The man has more put more people to work with his own money and partners than anyone else I can think of. In New York alone, he has been phenomenal. And what did Roosevelt do in the 30s? Build. Who better to spur building than Trump? I'll tell you another area I would make him czar of. Trade. It's interesting. Yes. We get our clocks cleaned by the Mexicans, Japanese, Russians, Chinese, to name a few. Now, like, this idea... The Japs are coming to get us, see? And Donnie Trump's the only one. I like see, that. He's got a Cagney is, thing going on. Let me just on. make this. Make this point. Trade deals no longer deal with, like, us and the Mexicans and the Japanese. Like, that thinking is, uh, is like, literally is, is d decades old now. Multiple, yeah, like seventies, maybe. Like, yeah, the that's mercantile. Not even the 80s. Like, yeah, that's mercantile like, almost. This is, you know, to to say like we get our clocks cleaned. The we here is supposed to be America. And and what people don't seem to understand, and why the TPP is indicative of this, is it's not about America versus some other country in this regard. It is simply corporate interests who have found America to be a good place for, let's say, writing intellectual property laws, that they want to export those. It's not like, I'm an American company, and we're going to keep our company here and build goods and send it to the rest. No, no, no. That is... And so when Donald Trump goes up and says, the Chinese are not very bright, and I could roll... That, like. Donald Trump's not talking about America. Donald Trump is talking about Trump International and whatever subsidiaries and what whatnot. And so, now with that said, this is again why I think he's great for this country because if uh, Indy Mike loves what Donald Trump is saying about trade and Donald Trump decides like, hey, TPP is going to come up for a vote. Could be uh, could be September. Could be October. Could be November of this year. And I'm going to come out strong. And I'm going to say, Ted Cruz, you were with me on saying that Mexicans were bad people. Where are you with me on the TPP? Where are you in saying Asians are bad people? Right, exactly. Yeah, have a little consistency. By the way, I heard that the TPP was bad for Israel. <clears throat> so, <laughs> okay, so, um, all right, here we go. Listen, it, it, I love this framing. I'll tell you another area I would make fun of Zara of, trade. We get our clocks cleaned by the Mexicans, Japanese, Russians, Chinese, to name a few. <laughs> Just there's a few. Been, been, no knock on them. It's our fault. Trump would not. One other thing about him, he is clear in his loyalty to Israel <laughs> and our allies and tough on our enemies. Now, Donald Trump is tough on our enemies. <laughs> he sounds like a Trump. He actually he sounds like he's contemplating an official endorsement here. Uh, I, I, look, I love the idea that Trump is tough on our enemies. Like, what does Trump do? Like, I, look at the people like in Iran going like, oh, God, Donald Trump. Guys, we need to have a contingency plan because look, 
Everything with Obama is great. Pussy. But no, obviously, we're gonna build but no, a but new. But this is this is what I'm working. talking about. Like, but if is, that apprentice guy becomes president, we're gonna really need. No, remember, remember that. Remember that, like farmer in Scotland who didn't want to sell his small home for Trump's golf course, and Trump totally like took it to that poor soul farmer guy. I guess. Yeah, but that's but, one of our but, enemies. But, no, but you're missing the point here. It's rhetorical. He's that's saying, like, yeah, exactly. The whole notion of foreign policy for a huge, and, and Indy Mike is actually indicative of a lot of people in this country. Foreign policy is literally like, you, like he thinks that Trump is engaging in foreign policy. Like he's tough on our enemy. What does that mean? He's tough on our enemies. Like he doesn't let any Iranians play at any of his golf courses. Oh, no, no, not even because that right. actually required doing something. Right. He's literally just talking about talk. Exactly. And that I just find is just fascinating to me.